Hello, this video will look at Act 3, Scene 5 of Macbeth, or the Hecate or Hecate scene. This is one of my favourite scenes in Macbeth, even though it is often cut. Uh, modern theatre and film directors normally do not include this scene in their productions and adaptations of Macbeth. Uh, but I think it's one of the more important and interesting scenes, and I think Hecate is one of the more interesting characters in Macbeth, even though she is normally cut from modern productions. This scene takes place in the middle of the play and could be seen as the turning point in the play, the point of no return for Macbeth, the point where Macbeth loses all control over his own destiny. The goddess of witchcraft, Hecate, takes over. Hecate is the Greek goddess of witchcraft and magic. Um, and she does not always use magic for ill, for bad things. Uh, she often uses her magic for justice as well. She often appeared in battles uh, to ensure that the right person won. Um, now, in this scene, she is confronting the three witches about the mischief that they have done to Macbeth um, and about the uh, events that they have set into motion through their prophecies um, to Macbeth in the opening scenes. She's confronting the witches. She is not happy. She opens with this long rhetorical question at the start. How dare you? How did you dare to trade and traffic with Macbeth? without calling me to play my part. She is angry that they have played with Macbeth, that they've traded and trafficked with Macbeth without including her. She feels left out. She thinks she should have been invited or called to play her part and to help them show the glory of our art, our art there being magic. Um, she thinks their art is glorious and can do good and wonderful things for the world. Um, and they have ruined uh, the, this potential by playing with Macbeth, who has turned out to be wayward, spiteful and wrathful. This triplet of adjectives here showing what Macbeth has proved himself to be. Wayward means that he is wrong, morally wrong, he's gone wrong. Spiteful, obviously being nasty and selfish, and wrathful, being angry and overly violent. Macbeth has proved himself to be these three things by murdering Duncan and then murdering Banquo and attempting to murder Fleons. And as we know, it's going to get even worse. In a couple of scenes time, Macbeth is going to murder Macduff's family. Hecate is not here to stop him doing that, but she is here now to stop him gaining any more power. And she will eventually um, stop this train of events that has been set into uh, set into play by the witches. She tells them using this imperative phrase here, get you gone, get you gone and fix this. And she says that she herself will now begin to bring things to a dismal and fatal end. So as I said, Hecate is not a good witch necessarily. Um, she is still uh, capable of doing evil and bringing death. Um, and she, as I say, in two scenes time, she allows uh, Macduff's innocent family to be murdered, but things are going to be brought to a dismal and fatal end to bring an end to the tyrannical reign of the wayward, spiteful and wrathful Macbeth. 